Hey everybody, happy Monday. I hope you guys had a very good weekend and you were able to rest and get a lot of things done. So what we're gonna be doing this week, I'm actually only gonna be giving you guys probably one sketchbook assignment a week from here on out. I know last week I gave you two and upon further reflection, I think that might be a little too much. So from here on out, we'll just have one sketchbook assignment. So this week we're actually gonna be doing a painting and what we're gonna be doing in our sketchbook this week is a watercolor straw painting. So I've done these with art one in the past and some other art classes. I'm sorry, my dog is rolling around in the, <laughs> my dog's rolling around on the rug. So if you can hear her, just <laughs> kind of ignore her for right now. Hey, stop. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty simple um, watercolor assignment. Essentially what you do is you take some watercolor paint you dab it on your paper, you blow it around with a straw, and whenever it dries, you outline it with a black Sharpie. Now, the reason why I like this is because they look super cool whenever they're finished. You can customize it to look however way you want, and it's almost kind of a foolproof um, painting tutorial because I feel like no matter what level your painting skills are, everybody can at least make something look really cool doing a watercolor painting like this. So I'm actually gonna do a quick little demonstration for you because there are a couple of little tips and tricks that I can show you on how to make this a little bit easier. But think about what colors you want to do. You can stick to a color scheme like these two examples, or you can use every single color if you want. It's completely up to you. Um, I've had people do both and they both look really good. So let's go ahead and get all the things we need. You're gonna need some watercolor paint. You're going to need a brush and then you're obviously going to need your sketchbook. Now I will say in your sketchbook the paper is not watercolor paper. It is a little thinner so just kind of be careful. You can absolutely use watercolor in these but you can't just put like heavy 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 amounts of water. So just kind of be aware of that. Oh, and you're also going to need a straw. Any straw actually will do. I wouldn't recommend getting those really small, um, what do you call them? Those little coffee stir straws, because they're not gonna be big enough, but just a regular straw from like a fast food drink will be completely fine as well. And then you're also gonna need a cup of water and a brush. So let's go ahead and put some color down. I think I'm gonna start with this red violet color, because I really like that color. Now you're gonna actually need a pretty decent amount, not like a ton. If it's dripping water, then you probably have too much. So what we'll do is we'll do these little dab motions. You want to be able to actually see the paint move around and then you'll take your straw and you'll just blow it around. And then you'll just keep on adding some more. Now, a couple of tips that I do have for this. Number one, and this is going to sound kind of weird, but don't blow a ton of air through your straw. Just don't do it really, really quickly because if you do, if you sit here and go, you'll actually kind of get a little lightheaded. So just kind of keep that in mind. I know that sounds kind of silly when I say it, but when it starts to happen to you, then you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. Feel free to move your sketchbook around to try and fill up as much of the page as you can. Also, if you're having a hard time getting your paint to move, if you're blowing on it and it's not moving, you either need to add a little bit more water on it. And also something else that I do, I will lift it up and then blow downward. So that way I can control where I move it a little bit more. So let's do another one. See, I think I'll do this blue next. Is that blue? Yeah, that's blue. And then I'm going to put it a little bit down here. Now, if you end up with a really light color like that, then you actually probably 
didn't have enough paint on there. You had a lot of water, but you didn't have enough paint on there. So you may have to just kind of play around and figure out the consistency that's gonna work best for you. I want to, and of course, if you always wanna go back and add a little bit more color, you can just simply just take your brush and just add some on there. So you can always do that as well. All right, guys, I think those are pretty much the main tips that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my page and then I will come right back. Okay, so this is what my watercolor looks like and of course now that I finish it I totally didn't realize until now that I did the exact same colors <laughs> as this first example wow way to be different there miss Garrett so when you have filled up as much color filled up as much of your page with color as you can is what I was trying to say you're going to set it aside for a little bit and wait for it to dry so I'm going to set this aside right now and when it dries I'm going to come back and show you how to outline it okay it's been about 10 minutes and just about everything is completely dry so before I start outlining I'll just kind of show you what they look like when they're done so now you're Obviously, there's a bunch of teeny, 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 tiny little areas. Um, if you have a ton of them, I don't expect you to outline every single one of them. Just outline the ones that you can. So here's an example here. So you can kind of see there's just some areas that got really, really tiny that you, obviously you don't have to worry about outlining. But the more you can outline, the better it looks. So the idea here is that you're outlining the edges, the outside edges. You're not outlining each individual color. You're outlining the outside and then all of the gaps on the inside, if that makes any kind of sense. So I'm going to put on a playlist and I'm going to, well, before I do that, I guess I can go ahead and just start somewhere. Um, yeah, honestly, just pick a spot and then just kind of work your way out. So I'm going to actually start here and do that opening and then that opening. All these teeny tiny little areas again, you can just kind of And you basically just kind of keep on going, you guys, until you have most of the gaps outlined. So I'm now going to put on a playlist and go ahead and finish the rest of this.